so just do it inside the platform. All I'm trying to help you understand is how this world is working so that you can feel comfortable and do things the way that you want to do them. I got taste from my face to the floor. It comes in waves, making waves for my home. Uh, what's up, you guys? I'm back here out with Alex at Bobalicious. I'm gonna do the fast video editing um, video number two. I did a video last week, and it was just about introductions to the ideas of fast, of how to edit video fast for social media. Um, and so I'm gonna take it to the second place. The first one I just talked about, I didn't really talk about too much other than the idea of what do you need to know first of all, which is what platforms you're going for. And so I didn't tell you too much about editing, but this time I'm gonna go into editing and publishing and how to like maybe just give you a hack so that you can get into editing and publishing very fast. So, last time I said you have to pick your platforms. Start with Instagram, um, YouTube, and Facebook. I think those are good platforms. One minute platform on Instagram, the re Facebook and YouTube are kind of exactly the same. Now, me, I'm also on TikTok right now, and I'm also on Instagram stories, um, and I'm going to show you really fast how you go into that. Now, editing, I use Final Cut. This is what my stuff looks like. Now, you might use Final Cut. You might use um, Apple also has something called iMovie, which is also on the phone. You can literally do iMovie on the phone, and I used to use iMovie. I only use um, Final Cut because I'm more advanced. Probably more advanced than you. No, I'm just joking. But, you know, you can get Final Cut. It's super simple to use on MacBook. This is what I use. And this is the video that I edited for um, my TikTok. Because TikTok is vertical video. So it's like once you know what you're looking for. And I'm just giving you the insights so you can see. You can figure out how you want to do this. Once you know. Or you can just record the stuff with your phone vertically. And it will automatically make vertical video. But if you know how to edit and you want to get into that. I suggest you just use your phone and you go vertical on it but if you know how to edit what I did is I made a new thing I set the parameters for it and now it's this shape and this is a different video the video if you can see is actually just regular but I'm making it vertical so that I can post it on TikTok why because people on TikTok don't always want to see you just put a regular video that hasn't been formatted for the platform by formatting it for the platform you're taking away one step of thinking which allows them to do one extra step of engagement and actually watch your stuff so I put myself on IGTV which is also vertical Instagram stories also vertical snapchat also vertical TikTok, also vertical why because I get maybe 20 to 40 plays per videos on Facebook and YouTube added together on these other platforms I easily get about 400 to 500 video plays and that's the audience and I'm a pure artist so audience is really good for me and it's good for everybody especially if you're talking to your audience. So that's how I do my vertical video, and then I just simply publish it. Um, as far as publishing, I want to give you some hacks on that. When it comes to publishing, the easiest way to have a good publishing strategy, because a lot of people are making videos, but you're not publishing in a way that really matters. There's so much like sun behind us that if I go like that, they can't see it. Um, I'll sit over here so they can see Alex too. You don't really need to be in it, but it's production value. Um, <laughs> the easiest way to make sure that you're publishing frequently when you're starting is to just go live. Do a live video once a week. A live video is as good as the Avengers movie. It's as good as anything else, except for if you don't have the editing built into you, you're not wasting money where you don't have investment. If you just go live, then you get to publish every single week. I'm going to start going live maybe daily I might be coming here every day to go live um, because um, this is part of a different strategy for me I have video strategies and location strategies this this video is about videos so I'm just gonna talk about videos um, but I'm gonna start going live more frequently um, because um, one it helps your YouTube algorithm one it helps you publish more helps you be in the moment um, helps you talk about things that are very relevant and for me it actually is kinda cathartic like um, to have to get up and show people my face and talk to people and communicate in a way where I'm talking to more people than one it actually gets me out of my little 
hole that I can get into on the creative side and the artistic side and just the personal human side when you get inside your house and you feel so cozy. It's good for me to push out and get out here like I am right now on this beautiful Monday, starting this week powerfully with good energy. I love that I get to start this week with a good video. Anyway, so basically what am I trying to say about editing and publishing? Don't make it more complicated than necessary. If you need a vertical video and you need a horizontal video, and if you don't know what any of these things mean, please message me. If you need a vertical video or a horizontal video um, very fast and you don't know anything about editing at all, then just do live videos. And then save those videos and then put them on the other platforms. That's my, that's my opinion. All the social medias have cameras in them. So just do it inside the platform. All I'm trying to help you understand is how this world is working so that you can feel comfortable and do things the way that you want to do them. Um, yeah, that's it for me. Alex, what do you think about video? Um, I mean, so far, is it making yeah. any more sense? Yeah, I mean, we just talked about the editing part, but. Mm -hmm. um, do you think you could go live once a week? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not as, um, I guess, what's the word? Uh, it's hard for me to go uh, video and to uh, to be. Uh, I get a little uh, more introverted. Than okay. Introverted. Now, what, sooner or later, I guess. The, I the good thing about that answer is that's approximately the answer of like seventy percent of people. And I don't think you need to be pushed into doing video. I think that there's there's some other strategies around it too. So I'm just glad that I'm starting the conversation. Um, I'm interested and I know you're looking into partnering someone to help you with your social media and the reason I'm pausing right now is because I'm not sure should everybody do video or should some people do video and some people partner with people who do video what if video is never your strategy in life but at the same time what if it's just about getting to a place where you feel comfortable and you see how easy it is see I'm not really sure which two so I'm not going to decide I feel like you know mm -hmm. there's some people that no matter what they're ne probably never gonna be comfortable. Yeah. But there's some people that can learn to be comfortable if they have someone showing them or leading them, or they just see how it's going. Yeah. Know, and, and they get used to it, kind of like. But how do we decide who is who? Or how do we know? Takes time. Takes time. <laughs> That's it. That's the perfect thing. It really does take time, and a lot of things in life do. Um, I think knowledge helps too and that's what I'm hoping that these